another flat stage today between Bourges and Châtelguyon with a finish at the far end of Auvergne and Forest Parks over a rugged route and three third-class climbs in the last 90 kilometers. At start proper of this stage, three riders go on the offensive. Jay Thompson, Fabien Grelier and Premislav Kasperkevich. Pack, let's go and gap rises up to seven minutes. Fabien Grelier, who went first at the top of the first difficulty of the day, takes a chance in the second climb of the route, La Côte des Boulards. He attacks and goes up the hill on his own. 70 kilometers before finish, he is now alone, fighting against the peloton. But the pack closes in and the gap melts. Now, with 165 kilometers to go, two of the three escapees of the day, Thompson and Kasper Kivitz, are caught by the pack. A few kilometers later, same thing happens to Grelier. Over the last climb of the day, in Côte de Charbonnière, favorites unwind their legs and launch their attack on the sprinters, who drop one by one under the pedal strokes of attacking riders, especially the ones of Julien Alaphilippe at the front. Arnaud Demar might as well lose his yellow jersey by the finish of his third stage. 10 kilometers to go and a group of three riders still lead the yellow jersey bunch, which includes the sprinters, by 50 seconds. Jonathan Hiver, Luis Leon Sanchez and Remy de Gregorio. The end of the stage is a sparring between the three of them. 200 meters before finish, Jonathan Hiver delivers the speed effort that was needed to win this third stage, leaving Sanchez and de Gregorio behind. Jonathan Hiver gives Direct Energy its fifth victory in this 2018 season. The French team puncher already performed well on the Tour du Haut-Var at the beginning of the year with success on two stages and GC proves he's in his prime. The rider, who usually wins two to three races per season, already has a higher performance sheet for 2018. A promising season shall lie ahead. When we passed the hill and I realized we were a small group, I knew things were not going to be done in an organized way and I needed to act. I often wait till the end because I'm quick, but then I get trapped. I knew I had to follow the riders who were escaping. And well, I rode along with the others on the last two kilometers. I almost knew I was going to win before even crossing the finish line, but still, I had to actually do it. Jonathan Hiver was able to win the sprint at Châtelguyon finish over Luis Leon Sanchez and Rémi de Gregorio. The pack crossed the finish line 38 seconds later, with Arnaud Demar conceding yellow jersey to Luis Leon Sanchez. The Spanish rider now leads Demar by 28 seconds. Alaphilippe ranks fourth, also in the top 10, Wellens and Kreuziger. Saint-Étienne, which was already the start of a stage in 2015, is once again part of the Race to the Sun on this fourth stage, a time trial on a hilly 18-kilometer route where technical riders will play a major role. A stage that should probably kick off the struggle between leaders with a finish at Saint-Étienne Football Stadium, Geoffroy Guichard. <laughs>